And so this is Rod McBride, and I ask him what gives him personal power, what helps him through tough times in his life. One of many things, actually, that gives me personal power is this bicycle, uh, and probably this helmet stuff, too. But uh, riding a bicycle, uh, I, I started actually like a couple years ago when I started riding, about a month or two into it. I realized how much better I felt after the workout that I'd gotten riding, and I would like finish a hard day at work, and I would actually say, I need to go get some cyclotherapy, and, uh, and I would, and at that time, I still drove my bike around in or on my car, like, I would drive it to places, and then get on the bike and ride for a couple hours, and then back to the car, put, put the bike back on the car, and like, then drive home or whatever like that, uh, even if I was going to be going as far as it would have taken just to ride to and from or whatever. So, I'm not sure why that made sense to me and seemed practical, and transportational riding did not, but that was true of, of me for a long time. Uh, and then, uh, and then actually, I guess what really probably made me feel all the more empowered is when I started realizing that this, this thing that I was riding around on for a workout was also a really good way to get a lot of practical transportation solved, save a fortune in gas and car repairs, uh, and just convenience things, like the other day when I had to put my car in the shop and I, it was clear all Olathe and all that, and about 15 miles from my house, and I took my car in and then rode my bike home. And uh, it, uh, and got to have like, like some fun times, you know, along the way with that. Uh, you know, it, it interlaces with the photography, that's another hobby that I really, that really zends me out and that I really enjoy. And, uh, all that, and you know, it's, it's a freeing thing to realize that, uh, that you know I can be someplace that sounds like it's a long ways away, like you know I don't know Midtown or the West Bottoms, or whatever, like this from say Walden or whatever, like this. I can be there 20, 30 minutes sometimes, uh, depending on what, what you're talking about. All right, show me your Fourth of July decoration. Oh yeah, I decorated my bike for the Fourth of July with uh, two flags and originally two patriotic pinwheels, but one of the pinwheels shredded. Ah, uh, the pinwheels. Uh, they're not really made to take high speeds. <laughs> they, they sound great at about 8 miles an hour, and they sound like they're, in fact, coming apart, which they are, at 20, 25 miles an hour. And, uh, and you can see that the flags are fraying out a little bit, even though I just put them on um, yesterday. So <laughs> I, I think i got to get better flags if I want to be patriotic in the long term. All right.